Greetings, Show Nation players. It's Mr. Merc here from Malarkey Studios, and I'm here to give you a few tips that will help any of you attempting to do the Summer Circuit Tournament coming up tomorrow. So the first thing that you need to consider is that the Summer Circuit is played in Battle Royale format. What that means is the games are only going to last three innings, and you're going to have to draft an entire team before you play your six games. This will not involve your regular Diamond Dynasty team. It will revolve around drafting. Now, in my opinion, the drafting of your team is the very crucial process, and you don't want to mess it up. And that is why the first two tips I have for you, they will be based on the drafting process, and then I will go into a tip for your gameplay. So with that in mind, let's get started. So as you can see here, I'm in the middle of a drafting process in a Battle Royale entry. Now obviously this is not the Summer Circuit, but I am going to draft like I am in the Summer Circuit so you get a better idea, get a better visual on how you should map out your drafting. So my first tip is going to be this. Draft only a few good pitchers in the Summer Circuit. Your pitcher's energy will always be replenished after each and every game. So what you need to do is keep that in mind because due to the replenished energy, you don't have to have as many arms that are solid in your bullpen. You should really only need about four guys that you can rely on, and I would say two of them need to be really good. But you need to have at least one diamond or one gold pitcher albeit either a starter or a reliever that you can throw in in every single game. Another note I have, but I'm sure most of you already know this, try to make sure that the pitchers you draft, especially the good ones if you can, make sure that they typically throw a sinker. If you're a frequent player of the show, I don't need to tell you this, you already know how OP the sinker is. I do plan on making a video about breaking down the sinker, why I think it's too OP and how hard it is, but that's for later. But like I said, just because it's OP only makes it more logical for you to use it because everybody else will too. So draft pitchers with sinkers is a small tip I have for that. And if they're the good pitchers that you are drafting, it makes it even better to have to, so that they have a sinker. Um, this is because, again... You don't have to worry about rotating your pitchers for games, so choose only a few good pitchers, and if they have a sinker, that's all the better for you. Now on to my second tip, which revolves around the hitting portion of your team and what you should look for when you're drafting. Now whether I like to admit it or not, and whether most of us do, there is a fair bit of luck that is obviously involved in the outcomes of Battle Royale games because there are three innings. and In three innings, anything can happen. Somebody can win because of a stupid blooper that falls through and scores a run or an air happens. There's a lot of luck involved. But with that in mind, it's always a good insurance to have these two stats for your offense. Power and speed. Now there's a couple of reasons these two stats these two stats are the most important. First of all, let's take a look at the other stats and kind of put them down in their place. Defense is not really so important in the tournament because there are so few innings that you have to play that defense is not a really highly sought after stat, mainly due to the lack of playing time and just the more importance of other stats. Also, contact it is a nice commodity to have, but I would rather have more power than contact just so I can have the assurance that at least one of my good good ball ball on bat situations will result in hopefully a home run because home runs are what MLB The Show thrives on. That's how most of the games are decided, especially in Battle Royale. And speed. Speed is another really important stat for a variety of reasons. Again, defense is not something that a lot of people go after. So if somebody on the other team has an error, speed will get you the base. Speed will help you steal. Speed can help you in certain defensive positions like outfield. But most importantly, 
being able to beat out the play, get an extra base on the hit, or to take advantage of errors and steal, those are all really good advantages of speed. And in the long run, or in this case a short run for three innings, it is really, really nice to have that speed on the base pass. So heading into my last tip that I have for everyone, this is going to revolve around the gameplay in the tournament. And the biggest, most important tip I have for you when it comes to the gameplay is you got to be passive at the plate. You don't realize how smart this is until you have seen the strike zone of the summer circuit. For whatever reason, San Diego Studios thought it best to have the strike zone in the game be more sporadic this this time, which I don't really agree with because I feel like, again, there's already so much luck involved. Getting a bad call to go your way or against you kind of sucks. But anyways, what this means is you're going to have a lot of pitches that are going to graze the edges of the strike zone, sometimes completely in the strike zone, and they might even be called balls when they're totally strikes. So this only makes it more important as a batter that you need to be passive because you'll more than likely get ahead of the count and it'll also help you when it comes to decreasing the energy level of your pitcher and you'll be able to capitalize on a lot more mistakes. So there you have it. These have been three tips that I believe are crucial and necessary and I hope that they will be able to push you through tomorrow's summer circuit and I hope they help you get to six and zero, maybe five and one and push on into Sunday and hopefully get you into the actual big tournament in August. And I just want to say thank you for watching. If you want to see more content like this, please like, and subscribe. And I hope all of you have a wonderful day.